our deliverer, God our Savior. He's seated on the highest throne of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go. Oh, 
question concerning your situation. Yeah, so trust him. Trust in the Lord. <laughs> yeah, he will not fail you. Amen. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above that which you think or even imagine. Yeah, according to the power that works within us. Yeah, there is a power that God has provided. That same power that opened the grave after three days. Amen. That same power yeah. that opened the grave of Lazarus yes. after four days. Yes. That same power is available to us as his children. <laughs> Your thing may not be as big as the death of Lazarus for four days. Your situation may not be even as terrible as what it was happening concerning Lazarus. <laughs> but my God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that which we think or even imagine. <laughs> yeah. He's a God of favor. Yeah. Favor cannot be bought with money. <laughs> Favor is beyond description, beyond money, beyond anything that you cherish. Yeah. God just makes a way for you. Yeah. And he says, you are the one that can do this. And he puts you in a place which you don't deserve, which you have not worked for, which you never even planned. <laughs> and you begin to say, do I really deserve this? Do I really? What did I do to deserve this? Yeah. And your answer will be saying, nothing. Nothing. Apana. Shandaka ita kana chandito kwa sabu iti. Yeah. Osu kumla wati mari kundi na kristi niko mari. What can I do for this God? Yeah. Yeah. As I'm speaking, I said somebody <laughs> will be saying these things. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be saying these things. Amen. <laughs> Rama Sikitana Mahaya 
I'm able to lift you up and put you into a place where people will start wondering. We we'll start wondering, well, what, what is this? What is this? Kuchi ishi! Kuchi ko ishi! Chicha kuitika ata! I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> yeah. Because my God is able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. You may not be able yourself, but my God is able. I'm not gonna marry. I'm not sweet and marry. Enemies. You may be walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Let me declare to you, fear no evil. Fear no evil. Don't be intimidated. Yeah, you may walk through tough times, but you are not going to remain in that. You are coming out better. You are coming out better. Not Peter, you are coming out better. Not Peter, you are coming out better. Blessed be his name. I'm excited. I feel an excitement here. Yeah, I feel a night of favor. Ah, you've got favor to do for my son. Who never knew what I'm sure of. Chet, you're not of Namari. 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 Sit 
God is working with you. And he's working working mighty things. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Blessed be. Praise and worship. You can take your seats, yeah? Hallelujah. Hey, it's, it's a, let's give them a hand. They, they are doing good. Hallelujah. So the environment is different, but the worship is Amen. Never. Yeah, we're worshiping the same God. And that's where you should be, like, wherever you are, worship Him. Worship Him. Yeah. You were born to worship. Right. Yeah. When God sees men and women who love to worship Him, something begins to The devil actually doesn't like worshippers. Mm. Mm. Because I'm not to worshippers, they are taking his place. Yeah, he was the one who was the archangel of worship. 
Saka Amota and Vano Shimramlan. Vano Shimramlan, Vano being one as a dam. Yeah. But I thank God that God has given us the privilege to worship Him and worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. I want to just uh, start with uh, some things here which really we need to keep at the back of our minds and understand what we are doing and where we are going. <clears throat> Remember when we began at the beginning of the year, God actually spoke to us that many are called, few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. It says, pick about 70 people in whom I will take part of the burden and put. I want us to understand that everything that we are doing here, we want to fulfill the purposes of God. Yeah, everything that we are doing here, we are not doing this kufanza anybody. Yeah. My agenda is not to make you happy. My agenda is to make heaven happy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Everything. You, you may have your own aspirations and desires and things that you are seeing. I want you to understand they are not important. What is important is what God wants done. Mm. What God has spoken to us to do is what is most important. That is what is the paramount thing that we must focus on. If we are going to get the blessing of the Lord in what we are doing, we need to be consumed with what God wants done. Amen. God has different houses and places, vineyards. He gives them agendas of what they must do to accomplish the complete vision of His that He sent Jesus Christ for. There are some who are capable of doing certain things. Others who are more capable of doing other things. <coughs> Houses are given different giftings. And what God has given us to do is what we are trying to make sure that you understand and begin to run with. Amen. Amen. So don't ever think I am trying to do anything to please you. Mm. Mm. I, I, Someone needs to, to, to be helped there. I, I will never stand up in front here to do anything to please somebody. We stand up here to please heaven. Amen. To do the agenda that God has put in our hearts. Amen. And that's the main thing. And that's what we are going to be answerable before God in heaven. So whatever we are pulling, I mean, rolling out all these things is as God speaks to us. God speaks to us in part. Not only us, but others come in and also contribute and begin to build this thing, whole thing. You and I can begin to build as God continues to unravel so that this vision may be fulfilled. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We are the body of Christ under the banner of His presence ministries. We have a specific agenda that God wants us to push, and it must be pushed and be fulfilled. Otherwise, we let down the body of Christ. There are others that have been assigned to push certain agendas. But we have been assigned to push what we are spelling out to you as we actually said before. Amen. Amen. We want that to be understood. I want to repeat it. I, I do not stand up front here to say and do things to please anybody. Yeah. Don't ever think I'm trying to please you or anybody else. I want to please God. And I do not even want to say things to please myself. <laughs> because it's immaterial. We must say things to please the one who sent us. The one who served us. The one who commissioned us. The one who actually is giving us the power 
to become the ministers that we are. Amen. And that's what pleases heaven. Hallelujah. So, as we now come almost towards the end of the of the deep training, I want to spell out some things now. We are going to graduate. <laughs> Amen. And uh, graduation will be at conference in 2016. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Over the Easter weekend. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we want you to invite your friends, your relatives, your workmates, and your neighbors to your graduation. Hallelujah. Yes. So, between now and the end, certain criteria for graduating must be fulfilled. It's your responsibility to fulfill. It's not mine. <laughs> the responsibility to fulfill the criterion that we have set for graduation must be yours. I'm not going to have sleepless nights about your failure to graduate. Hello. Hello. Amen, Vatican. Amen. 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 So, we want you to invite, prepare for it. Yeah. This will be, let me tell you, this person's ministry is, is taking a new dimension. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Totally new dimension. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. We are entering the best season of our life. Amen. That's what we've been talking about. Saka, many of you are the, the you are the, the group that, is, the core group that is going to set the new pace of what we have been waiting to see happening for a long time. Yes, sir. Mm. You are the core group that will actually usher in what we have been toiling and praying and wanting to see it best. Amen. So I want to encourage you to take yourself seriously and fulfill these simple things that we are talking about. So what are the criteria for Graduating, I'm spelling them out. I will also print them and hand out them to you. Yeah. So that the next three months, everyone gets to speak. Mm. <coughs> Number one, a hundred percent record, attendance record at deep training. A hundred percent record at deep training. Good Timekeeping. All these are number one. Good timekeeping. Mm. Uh, don't think uh, I, we don't see. I have a, a, a memory like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a way I don't know God gifted me to actually be able to tell. I mean, actually, many times when I just look, I can tell who's absent, who's not absent. Mm. Mm. Even if I'm not right, 500. Yeah. Some of God is actually giving me the ability. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so on. Uh, so I know some need the register to do that, but some, sometimes in I just I don't need the register. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a grace. But we are keeping a record, good time keeping. Yeah. Also attentiveness. Yeah. Uh, attentive and praying all night. And actually signing out at the proper time, which is 5 a.m. or later. Uh, and also, we need to be watching over our brothers, those that are pretenders to sleep. <laughs> Makeup lessons, uh, are, we've already described for many that actually missed. But make-up lessons, we have discussed it with your pastors, 
your pastors will be able to help you to actually make those up, uh, make up lessons. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want anyone to be unnecessarily embarrassed, but I think we've, we've been organized. Mm. Let's make sure that that is done. Yeah. Attendance record at deep training is very, very critical. That's number one. Amen. Amen. Then the second one, memorizing Ephesians 1, verse... <laughs> Verse what? To what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tonight I will ask some people. Yeah. I will just point some people to come and, and do. <laughs> Can interpret that. This one is the very important one. Yeah. Eo is scripture Eo. Anyone, <coughs> let me tell you, anyone who is a powerful man of God, a powerful minister, will tell you that this scripture is critical. Mm. Yeah. That passage, yeah. You from being just an ordinary minister or to become a, an extraordinary minister. Saka, but this is one of those. But I'm often going to be that right word, Pastor R. I took a gun, what was the I'm dealing with adults here. Adults do not need to be chased. Because <laughs> Ah, oh, did you memorize the scripture? Till you see man. Yeah, we are raising men and women that we are going to send to the nation. We are raising men and women who are going to be sending to communities. Men and women that are going to be effective ministers, yeah, who will be giving commands and instructions to others and expecting others to obey them. And Israel. And Israel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> today, I'm away. <laughs> You're today, I can say. Do you know what's wrong with you? No, I'm doing it. Do you know what's wrong with you? I think my wife just because I've been next to you sometimes. <laughs> Like July last time, we came confidently. 